My radio control upgrade to Chopper is uh, almost done. One of the last things I want to do is take the telemetry off my re receiver uh, S port, I believe it's called, uh, for my TDR10 and uh, pump that to my radio control so that I can know when the battery's low. So if you look at the instructions, you can see it's got minus, analog in, plus, and signal. And that all connects to this little port here on, uh, on the back of the receiver. So that maps to black being minus, analog in being blue, the red being the uh, positive, and then the signal. So the black, red, and yellow are kind of standard, what you'd expect for a servo, and the blue is the analog in. So to make the magic work, what I've done is I've wired onto the positive terminal of my fuse block, this blue wire, and it ends in a little pin. I'm gonna plug that into the blue wire of the harness I just showed you, and then plug the harness into the back of the receiver. So I just put a little uh, heat shrink on the uh, connection to make sure that doesn't wiggle loose and just kind of corral this slightly, the rest of the wires. Then I'm gonna plug this back into the port on the back of the transmitter. So now that I have all the physical connections made, I'm just gonna go back and double check um, the specs. So you can see operating voltage is three and a half to 10 volts DC. So you may wonder how can I plug in a 6S or 4S or 3S battery? Well, if you look on here under voltage measurement range, analog N2, which is what we used, it says it can do zero to 35 volts. And it's got a battery voltage divider ratio one to 10. So at 35 volts, it's going to register 3.5 volts. So what that means is when we set it up, we're going to have to scale it to read the correct voltage on the transmitter. Okay, so now we've got the uh, transmitter turned on. I got the robot turned on. And now it's time to go through and program it. So first step is we'll go into the uh, setup pages here. And we'll go over to the telemetry page. And... Uh, the first time you want to do this, you want to turn Discover Devices on, and then it'll, uh, you can then turn it back off. Um, I think it actually defaults itself back off. And we're looking for the telemetry coming off the Analog Digital Converter 2, ADC2. You can see right here, the telemetry is at uh, 7.3 volts. We know that it's higher than that. In fact, if I look on my droid, I can see it's 10.4 volts. I actually just measured it. it's 10.44 volts. So remember that voltage divider we were talking about earlier. So what we need to do is go in and edit the ratio. So we want to see that 7.3 turn into 10.44 volts. Now it's jumping around because it's an analog signal, so it's not going to be perfectly uh, aligned. We'll just get as close as we can. All right, there's 10.45. I'll go down one click. 10.44. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now when we go back, ADC2 is reading 10.44 volts. And actually it's 10.4 uh, here. So I'm happy with that. Now we have to use that somewhere. So a cool place to put it is on the main screen here. If I go to this page, it'll edit these uh, widgets here. And I can go to configure. And we want a value, but instead of source being timer three, we want it to be telemetry. And under the member, we want it to be the ADS, ADC2. And that's good. So hit uh, the return button. 
And now that widget is reading our battery voltage, which is cool, but it'd be nice if it told us what that battery voltage was and then give us a warning. So to get a button to play, I can use a special function. Right now, there's none on the transmitter. So I'll hit the plus key, and we'll start at the top and work our way down. So the action is gonna be to play a value, and we have to enable it, otherwise it'll never work. And the active condition, we don't want it always on, we want it to be on a button press. And I'm gonna use this button uh, right here. Err, I hate flipping over. This button right here, is the play value. Now, if you notice, when I, right now it's up. I don't know if you can see that focus. Yeah, right now it's up, and now it's down, now it's up, now it's down. So I'm gonna hold it down and then hit the return key so that it catches the down as the, the trigger. What value do I wanna play? Well, I wanna play the uh, telemetry and Oops, telemetry, and which value of telemetry? The ADC2, there it is. And then again, hit return. And how many times do I wanna play it? Once is fine, so. 10.3 volts, so 10.3 that, volts. So that's pretty cool, but um, if you, you know, you can't look away from the model, you're doing something else, you can just hit that, it'll tell you, but it also would be nice if it told you when it's time to quit and 10.3 volts is getting pretty close to that case. So again, we'll go back here. We'll go into logic switches, add a logic switch and we'll call it battery warning. And function, we want A less than X. And the source, you guessed it, is the telemetry of our ADC2, and I hit return, and the value, let's see, let's make it, right now I'm gonna make it 10.4 volts, just because I know it'll trigger a warning. And I'll set it later to um, probably 10.3 volts, honestly. So we'll just put 10.36 here as the value, hit return, and active condition, always on. Delay before active. Let's put in a five seconds so that uh, if it just spikes below that for a potato or two, it doesn't trigger. Right now you can see the uh, active condition is on. So it's green up at the top here, right there. So. That logic switch is active. So now we'll go in and set a uh, special function. Just hit plus, action, play value, turn it on. Active condition is gonna be a logic switch. And since there's only one in there right now, you can see battery warnings automatically selected. And we will want to play this, not once, but I don't know, every five seconds to complain at us. So if it starts saying the battery over and over and over, um, then you'll know we're uh, getting low on battery. So it should be, right now it's saying it's active. So we should hear it say battery warning or read the, read the uh, value to us. All right, so you notice it's not making any noise because I've got play value enabled. Battery warning is the thing that turns it on, but the value isn't set. So we got to go through here one more time and pick telemetry and then the 95 dB. There we go. 10.2. All right, so 10.2 volts. 10.2 volts. Yeah, so it's mad at me, and I'm happy to turn it off now. So 10. I'm going to turn 10. it off. 10.2 volts.